Hi there, Graham from Penguin Motors here. In this video, we're gonna do a bit of myth busting. We're gonna test this 38D gas carburetor and this 32, 36 DJV and see which one makes the most power. What do you think? In the old days, in the bad old days of the 1980s, everybody said the 38D gas makes more power. Bolt 10 brake horsepower on a standard engine. That's what they all said, including me. Now, why did I say it? Not because I need proof. I said it because that's what my boss said. And the boss was right, yeah? We all know the boss is right. So the boss says, makes more power. Now, why would the boss say that? Well, be honest, back then, we couldn't really prove it. And he liked selling carburetors. So, you know, if you had one of these, there's, there was nothing to be gained. But if he could sell you one of those, money in his pocket. So, let's get to the dyno and find the truth. You ready boys? Should we make some noise? So before we get into the numbers, let's talk about the test motor. This is junkyard dog. It's not dyno dog. This is junkyard dog. This engine is bog standard injection engine. Obviously two litre. It's not been rebuilt. It has it come from the scrapyard and I used it to just uh, do a quick test of dyno systems. And it turned out the engine is actually quite healthy. So it was pressed into service. The only upgrades we've done is we stopped the standard cam for a new one. The new cam being a Burton BLF 3233. Not an ultimate cam, but there was a good reason for choosing this cam. This cam will drop straight in on a totally otherwise standard engine. You don't need to worry about springs, installed heights, the rest of it chuck it in, it will run. So, bog standard engine with the Burton cam, as I said. And yeah, run it up. And what you initially do is you get it warmed up. We did a number of dyno poles, and as you run it, and it gets warmer and warmer, you run it again and again and again, and the power tends to go up and up and up and up. And once it's fully warmed up, you'll find the power stabilizes. So once we reach that point where we've run it again and again and again, and the power has flatlined, so it doesn't go up anymore. I then did six back-to-back -back pulls, let the dyno software average the results. Then we swapped out the 3236 for the, for the degas. Again, did another few pulls to let the power level stabilise. I have to admit at this point that the jetting was already finalised on the carburetor, on both carburetors. So from previous testing, I didn't need to rejet either. They went on, they worked exactly fine as they were. So anyway, second carb on, again, similar thing. Didn't need as much warming up this time because obviously the engine was still relatively warm. So few power runs, let it stabilise. And then once we reached the point, the power stabilised, we will get the same numbers every time. Another six pulls back to back and we'll let the software average the results. Now, especially when you're talking minor differences, it's important the engine is at the same temperature. So now I'm gonna show you is a graph and this graph shows temperature in a cell and coolant temperature, which are the two biggest factors that will affect the engine's power output. And you'll see from this graph coming up now, the two are practically identical run to run. So temperature and atmospherics have had no real change, if any, on this power output.
So that's it. In a cold light of day, the next day, I'm looking at data and what are the numbers. The graph, whoa, there's a difference at the top, look, ah, and there's a difference down there, yeah. At the top end, the power difference is 0.4 of a horsepower, less than half a horsepower. That's nothing. Absolutely nothing. So clearly, the 38 dig acid is not worth 10 brake horsepower on the standard engine. In fact, on this instance, it's worth minus 0.4 of a horsepower. So, you know, there really isn't there really isn't any gain to be had there. Now, okay, some of you will go, oh well, the engine needs a higher spec. I, it doesn't really make much difference anyway, because I've done this, I've done this test on 140 horsepower engines and the difference was about one. So it isn't there. And some of you are going, yes, well, you know, the, the engine can't make use of more carburation. Well, it can, because in the next video, I'm going to show you this engine in the same spec, run on a pair of 40D series, and we pick up about six horsepower. So it's not that the engine can't make more horsepower with more carburation, it's just that 38D gas, 32, 36, the difference, pff, bugger all. So what I'd say is whatever carb you've got, keep it. Because change it to the other one isn't gonna make any real difference in ultimate power. Drivability, they drive slightly different, but in ultimate power, nothing in it. But in the next video, we're gonna show you the build-up of running this engine from standard with a cam, with an exhaust, with some faulties.